Ukraine's former president, Petro Poroshenko, has returned to his country after a month abroad. He faces charges of high treason and is under investigation. Many of his assets have already been seized, but he is returning, in his words, to fight Russian aggression against Ukraine. Poroshenko says he wants to work with the current government to prevent a possible invasion. We can speak now to our Kiev Bureau Chief Matthias Berlinger standing by for us. Hi, Matthias. Tell us uh, what has been happening today. So Poroshenko has arrived at uh, the airport here in Ky Kyiv in the morning and he uh, has addressed his fans at the airport. Then he drove to court. There was a court hearing that began at 11 o'clock, so an hour ago. He is now in court. In front of the court, he again addressed his, uh, his followers, his fans who had gathered there and who are still standing there and meeting there. Um, uh, uh, he has said basically that he has returned to work together with the current government uh, facing this crisis, uh, the Russian tr troop buildup at the border, but uh, his, his critics accuse him of using the situation to gain, to make some personal gains in this, in this critical situation for the country and, and, and setting himself uh, as, 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 uh, uh, as a hero in this situation. He has been summoned to court a month ago when he was uh, outside of the country and he missed that hearing. Uh, now this hearing today has been scheduled before and he has announced that he would return and uh, um, mm. uh, we will see what comes out in this court hearing will be decided whether he will remain in custody or walk free possibly on bail. Matthias, give us some background on Petro Poroshenko and why his return now is so significant. Petro Poroshenko uh, re uh, was the first elected president after the Maidan, after the revolution here in Kiev in 2014. So in 2015, he assumed the presidency when the country was under attack. Crimea had been seized by Russia and uh, the Donbass uh, was, uh, was, was, was uh, ruled by these separatists with Russian support. So uh, he has basically been the president that has uh, been sitting over this, uh, over this escalation and over this war and who has been able, his uh, supporters and some critics say, to build up somehow uh, uh, a military uh, infrastructure here in the country. Um, but he was he was defeated uh, significantly badly in the in, in the last election uh, when uh, Zelensky, uh, a former comedian who had no prior experience in politics, uh, won a landslide victory. People had been discontent with uh, uh, Poroshenko's achievements economically and also in terms of reform, anti-corruption. Um, now he comes back at a point where the country is again under attack with this. Russian military build-up and where people are, again, unhappy with their president because Zelensky as well has not delivered so far what many people have expected. Hmm. Um, so the, the next elections will be in two years and this seems to be the beginning of a power struggle between these two men uh, if no other person shows up in this, in this battle until then. And Matthias, the German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock is also in Kiev today. What can we expect from her meetings? Well, the most important thing is that she stopped in Kiev before heading to Moscow. This is a strong signal to Moscow that Germany supports Ukraine. However, Ukraine is not happy with the way Germany supports. Germany blocks until now any delivery of defensive weapons to Ukraine directly from Germany or from other countries where Germany has a say. This is, for example, buying from NATO or from other countries who have uh, who want to resell weaponry that was built in Germany to Ukraine and that Germany is blocking right now. This would be probably mm. one of the most important things the two governments uh, would discuss, the foreign ministers, uh, but it's unlikely that there will be any outcome today. Our Kiev Bureau Chief Matthias Berlinger there reporting. Thank you.